So we are discussing about uh, reflection of light. As we discussed about uh, spherical mirrors and uh, what are the two types of spherical mirrors we are having? Concave and the convex mirrors and uh, uh, the reflecting uh, the surfaces which reflect on concave they are called as concave mirrors and convex mirrors. Where we will use this concave and convex mirror uh, already I told for you the dentist uh, uses this concave mirror. What will happen in the concave mirror means uh, the image looks uh, very large uh, and uh, in convex mirror uh, the image uh, uh, which is uh, behind or it looks very small. How it will be? This is the inside curved surface is called concave. The outside surface is called as a convex. Okay. And uh, uh, where we will use these rear view mirrors. As I said for you, the rear view mirrors will be used for the bikes to the sides uh, to see the vehicles which are uh, coming back. Okay. And now uh, here one experiment was there. Uh, he asked us to take uh, two uh, V-shaped stands uh, like this. Okay. Okay, we have to take a wooden, uh, two V shaped wooden uh, stands. We have to take, uh, and here we have to place uh, the mirrors on this V shaped uh, stand. Imagine one is a uh, concave mirror, the other one is a uh, convex mirror. Okay. And uh, near to this uh, V-shaped stand and near to this uh, concave mirror, uh, what we have to do means uh, we have to place, now this is a board you can understand clearly, to the front of this one. Huh? Okay, see so in the textbook on the table what we have to do means we have to place a candle. Okay, to both sides, uh, to the opposite of the mirror we have to place the candle. Now, uh, what images will be formed on these uh, mirrors we have to see. Now, in the first case, uh, the flame is uh, in this way. Okay. In the second case, the flame is in this manner. Can you tell for me which is which mirror is which? What is the first mirror and what is the second mirror? I already told for you the concave mirror or in the concave mirror always you can see that uh, the image will be big. Okay. Then in the convex mirror, as I said for you, the image will be small. This is the experiment what you have to do that you have to take a two V-shaped stands and place the concave mirror and convex mirror and in front of this V-shaped stand, what we have to place, we have to place the candle and try to observe that. What we can find is that if the image is very big, it that mirror shows as concave mirror and if the image is small, we will say that it is a convex mirror. Did you understand? Now, see here. Yesterday itself I told we are going to discuss about the real image and the virtual image. What are the two things we are going to discuss is about the real and the virtual image. What is real image? <coughs> the image Second one is virtual image.
So please see here. What is uh, these two definitions are very very important. What is uh, real image and what is virtual image. Before entering to this one we have to do an experiment. Now what you have to do means uh, take a table. Okay. On this uh, table uh, what you have to do means uh, here you have to place a V shaped stand. On this table you have to place a V shaped stand. Stand and uh, sorry to this direction. Um, see here, this is the table, and uh, I will uh, show you that this uh, in this direction uh, you have to place a V shaped uh, stand. Uh, okay. Mm. Okay, place a V shaped stand and on this uh, you place a concave mirror. Okay, take a table, place a V shaped stand on the table and place a concave mirror. And here what you have to do means, uh, here uh, to this opposite uh, you place a candle. Okay, now this, uh, uh, this candle uh, will fall on this concave mirror. Okay. Then what should happen means uh, back of this uh, I will place a white sheet. Back of the candle what I will do? I will place a white sheet. On this white sheet means this acts, this white sheet acts as a screen. On this screen uh, if the image will be formed. Now this uh, candle's uh, image is formed uh, on this white screen. Uh, then we will say it as a real image. How to do the experiment? Did you understand it? Take a table, take a wooden uh, shaped, V shaped wooden uh, stand and a concave mirror. Then here, then this. See here. The image that can be obtained, obtained on screen is called as a real image. If it is, if the image is obtained on the screen, then we will say it as a real image. If uh, it is not obtained on the screen, then it is called as a Virtual image. See the two definitions. The image that can be obtained on a screen is called real image. We can see this image in the mirror also. Okay. What is virtual image? The image that can be obtained on screen. That uh, can be obtained on screen but can be seen. That cannot be obtained on the sorry. The image that cannot be obtained on the screen uh, but uh, can be seen only in the mirror is called as virtual image. If it is virtual, it won't be formed on the screen if it is uh, real it will be formed on the screen now did you understand what is real what is virtual once again see the definition the image that can be obtained on screen if an image is obtained on the screen if you do experiment like this and if uh, image is obtained on the screen then we will say it as a real image it will be obtained on the screen and also uh, in the mirror here also you will get the image this is only a concave mirror I took. Here also the image will be there. Here also the image will be there. Then it is said to be real image. What is virtual image? Only we can see in the mirror but we cannot see in on the screen. It won't be formed on the screen but it will be formed on in the mirror. So we will say it as a virtual image. Did you understand what is the difference between real image and virtual image? Okay, experiment was there in the textbook, you can go with that one. And next we are going to talk about the regular reflections and the irregular reflections. What are regular reflections and irregular reflections? See, near uh, to our houses, the windows will be present. Okay, when we are trying to see our face in the window. In some uh, mirrors, means uh, for windows, what will be the glass mirrors will be there. So, in some mirrors, we can see our image here very clearly. In some mirrors, we cannot see. In some mirrors, it looks blur. Means uh, some uh, how if uh, there is a design to the mirror, okay, how our image will be there? Uh, break, break, break. Okay, if a flower uh, design is there, in all the flowers we can see our face. If any design uh, is there, 
then now we can see our face half 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 will be present so where we can see our image very smooth and plain that is called as regular reflections and where it is uh, not plain uh, that is called as irregular reflections so let us see what are regular reflections and what are the irregular reflections regular reflections See here, what are uh, regular reflections and what are the irregular reflections? Reflections from a smooth surface like that of a mirror is called as a regular reflections. Clear images are formed in case of regular reflections. One more example can I tell for you? Not only glass. Now the water was there which was not at all disturbed. Okay, you see your face in that water? It will be very clear. Just uh, you just touch the water and you see your face. How it will be? It will be blur. Is it correct or tilt the water? Okay. When you did not tilt the water and when you are seeing your image in the water, it will be very plain and you can see your image clear. You tilt the water and you just see your image. Will it be clear? Why irregular reflections are taking place? Even in the mirrors also like that one. You see your face in a plain mirror. Very clear. You see your face in the broken mirror. <coughs> like break, how the mirror was breaked. Eh? Like when you are seeing in that. Like our body has cut into pieces like that. Eh? Uh, head part uh, half. Uh, here mouth part. Here this part. Uh, everything like uh, our body was broke into two to three pieces like that. If you will. That is a regular reflection. So reflection from a smooth surface. Like that of a mirror is called a regular reflection. Clear images are formed in case of a regular reflections. Irregular reflections means a reflections from a rough or irregular surface is called as irregular reflections. Images are not clear in case of a irregular reflections. Real image, virtual image. Regular reflections, irregular reflections. What are the ray view mirrors? What is spherical mirror? What is concave mirror? What is convex mirror? These all are the 
the important uh, things so what is kaleidoscope what is periscope okay then law of reflection these all points are very 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 important uh, in this lesson what we discussed just till now uh, from this lesson are uh, light changes its direction when it is obstructed by an object this is called uh, this phenomenon is called as a reflection angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection that is called as law of reflection next we discussed about laterally lateral inversion what we discussed there the right looks as left and left looks as a right is called as lateral inversion we discussed then uh, the distance between the image and the distance between the object will be equal we discussed the next uh, uh, however it may be the object uh, the small and uh, the big it depends upon the plane mirror we discussed next what we discussed uh, about um, concave and convex mirrors where we will use convex mirrors where we will use concave mirror real image virtual image regular reflections and irregular reflection with this uh, our uh, lesson reflection of light uh, lesson was uh, completed i'll continue tomorrow thank you